of their Unions say a 3.8% pay increase for politicians is a slap in the face for health workers trying to negotiate a new pay deal. It comes as the state government told public servants they had to accept less because times are tough. Tamara Akers explains. These are some of the health workers the state government says are only worth a 2.75% pay increase. A bitter pill to swallow when late yesterday, the Independent Salaries and Allowances Tribunal announced a much bigger pay rise for some politicians. Politicians on the one hand will be getting a significant pay increase, yet they're trying to uh, restrict legitimate claims of health workers to only 2.75%. All members of parliament will get an additional $5,585. For backbenchers, this equates to a 3.8% increase, while for higher paid members like the Premier, it works out to a 1.8% rise. The Treasurer says it's disappointing and not a good look. We have a policy it should apply to us as well as everyone else. The health services and public sector unions say it's a slap in the face for workers and have vowed industrial action. Both have been told the 2.75% is non-negotiable. It is hypocritical of the government to uh, be taking with one hand and uh, offering so little with the other. The unions weren't alone in their outrage. Even in the conservative heartland of Subiaco, many people slammed the move and backed calls for politicians to donate the pay rise to charity totally morally wrong. But with the cuts they've made to seniors, I think they should be pulling in their horns too. I think should be equal. The increase will come into effect on July 1. Tamara Akers, 10 Eyewitness News.